Hello, it's Johnny Thailand. I'm about to go and feed the blah. That's fish in the dam. Yeah, Sunday, a bit chilly, so I've got a few warm clothes on. Uh, probably be warmer in a couple of hours, maybe about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's only about 6.45 now, I think. I think. Uh, uh, it doesn't show me on the other side. Bugger. There's a funeral up the road. It's a uh, old lady died down there, so we'll head down past there. And they've been going for a while. My wife went down, and well, the wife went down and helped with the breakfast. We uh, we've been putting up with the music. Not that it's that bad, I suppose. Since about oh, be four o'clock, not way out about five o'clock. <laughs> so yeah, it's only a two-day funeral, which is good. The monks haven't turned up yet. The monks will be here about seven. Then the uh, you know people should be all here by then. There's usually a few stragglers, I suppose. The sun will be up shortly. It's cold. I should have put my gloves on. Ah, I gotta go over there. It's about quarter away if I can fly. Some of the farmers are out early, there's one there spraying poison I guess, killing bugs. It's uh, road 4026, it's a rural road, it doesn't go to a city or anything. It goes to Namapawang which is the uh, district district we live in and also the name of the biggest town Ampur in Thai Ampur Numapuang I'm only going slow because my hands are cold <laughs> ah, that's the national park over there it's piggy no, way 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 over there Roads. The road's good here. It's dirt road down when I turn off. All farmland through there. Yeah. Sun will be up soon. Ah. Wish I had to warm my gloves. We've still got uh, lots of creeks. I call them clongs here. Got water in them. That one's doing pretty good. They dug it out last year. They, uh, they try and uh, dig out the clonks where they can to make it into kind of like a dam, I guess you could say. That guy's got corn. It's only about a month old. Something else is going here. I don't know what it is. This is our turn off here. Yeah, so we're heading down here on this rough old dirt track there and all the trees in my wife Tick's orchard. They're all mango trees. Four varieties in there. The neighbour on the other side's got mango trees as well. He's got fruit. You can see if I can go a bit slower yep we can see there'll be some trees with bags on them that one there is uh, probably hmm been bagged maybe in the last week maybe two weeks too late though 
too late for everyone this year. No one's going to get good money because there's so, so few mangoes ready to sell. You know, they're talking about a few boxes. But they put them in the bag so the insects less likely to damage the fruit. There's one up there. They can go right up the top. Mangoes grow everywhere. There's another one. Tick's got no bags on any of her trees over there. Getting a few buds till late. By the time the fruit's formed in you know, 80 or 90 days time and we can pick it and sell it, the price will be gone. Won't be, won't be any good for us. So this will be our third shitty year, I suppose. I want to call it that. Yeah, so we go off the track here. Try not to, try not to fall off the bike as I go along with one hand. This is my job every day, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, come out and feed the bar. They like getting fed because there's too many of them at the moment and Tick can't catch them. <laughs> She's not a good fishing person. <laughs> uh, they're the big balls, they're six millimetre. We go through... That box every day. That's not. That's not half a kilo. That's probably only three hundred grams. And then there's the big box. Get out of that that's got about half a kilo. And there's half a kilo of small nuts for the for the small fish. So they're one millimeter and three millimeter mixed together, and they're half millimeter. And the uh, fish will be down there waiting for me. Ah, yeah. They're awake. They're all over the place at the moment. But once I start feeding them, I don't wait too long. They'll, they'll gather around. There's some I can see in the water already. I don't go right to the edge. I don't want to frighten them away. There's some over there. A couple of nice ones there. Yeah, so basically I start off with the, the small balls. And we uh, then go to the bigger balls in sequence. Once I start throwing the oh, little balls in, they'll, they'll be moving around quick. The water will get croffed up fairly quickly. <laughs> There's all the little ones going, going for the food already. And a bit more up there. And some down the front here. I don't put too much near the the edge of the water because the bigger balls when I throw those in they'll float with all the disturbance of the surface of the water towards the edge okay that's enough of the little stuff I'll give more little stuff when I go up there next to that gum tree little food and stuff yeah. oh, there we go they're nice fish. I can't understand why you can't catch them. There's good feed there for someone. More over there. That's female. The bluier ones, the grey blue coloured ones are the boys and the dull grey ones are the girls. Obviously need a make up, make over the girls. So now we do the, the bigger food. And we'll get attention. I'll go over there first. We'll get some more attention from bigger fish who only eat the bigger food. And over there. And over there. There. And a bit more in the middle there. So 
So they're frothing up the water. You can, well, it's not really froth, that's probably the wrong thing to call it. They're disturbing the water all around where I've thrown the food in. And some of the ones over there haven't woken up to the fact that I've got food here. But they will soon. I'll throw some of these big balls in. They make a noise when I throw them. I don't know if you can hear that. Not that noisy. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Morning here in the chilly, chilly, chilly old village I live in. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to give it away and uh, I'll catch up with you again. Bye.